Hello everybody, Nitro here. Thanks so much for clicking on the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to join the Nitro Nation. Today we're going to be playing some more Minecraft. I got some cool new updates to show you about the base. Made a lot of progress. Anyway, let's get on into it. Alright, so here we are uh, with our beautiful lightning rod. Our, our water and whatnot looks grand. I've got some things to show you. Big updates that I've made. And I got some really, really cool planned for the next video. So anyway, I'm going to walk backwards as to not spoil uh, some of it. Uh, so the first difference you'll notice is this. This, um, you know, that did come out and down. I think it looks a little bit better like this. And it definitely opens this up down here more. So you've got a nicer uh, kind of view like that. Uh, the next thing that I can show you is down here. So well, we'll just show you what's up here first. I relocated the bed to over here and I got rid of all these chests and furnaces that was up here. I just got the one chest and this thingy that I still don't know what it's going to do. Uh, relocated all of that down here. As you can see, it looks quite nice. We got uh, signs on everything. We got a to be sorted glass. We got quite a bit of glass. Uh, copper, sugar cane, bamboo, sand, wood, cobblestone, melons. And then we've got these uh, furnaces here. Uh, all nice and lined up looking grand. The big update is this. I made a little bit of an expansion so I have expanded outwards into these trees as you can see we got this beautiful bridge going across We've got a two-story Treehouse so to speak. I got some chests that I've thrown over here because I didn't have anywhere else to put them and look at this this is just, this is wonderful all interconnected and if you notice the edges i rounded the edges out on this they're not square like that i think it looks better with the rounded edges you can see those kind of they look i mean they're just big squares whereas this is like more rounded looking on the edges it follows the pattern of the trees which is nice got this nice staircase leads up to the second story Beautiful views out over the ocean. Mm -hmm. We got views back towards the original base. You can see the um, bridge there. This opens up, and this platform here um, is kind of sitting on top of the other tree. If I dig down, so you can see there's that tree. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this yet. I was thinking kind of for this could put like an enchanting uh, bookcase area. You know, I have a little enchantment table. It's not actually, it wouldn't be centered though if I did that. So, because it's only too wide. I might not do that. I might make the enchantment maybe deep down in the earth. Something like that. But I think overall this is looking pretty, pretty feisty. Pretty good. The scaffoldings came in handy big time building all this. You can see this. I just got uh, like materials, just random clap. Crap I collect, and then the actual random chest, which is just random garbage. Absolute garbage. This bridge uh, was a little difficult to uh, kind of figure out how I wanted it to look. And I think this is how I want it to do. You can see you can like walk through this, so you could fall at the edge. But Minecraft doesn't have diagonal fences. I wish these would connect diagonally. It would make this look so good, but they don't connect. You can see my little area there. I mean, I could like put another block on the outside and then put a fence there and that would connect the two. You could do that, but I just feel like it would look a little weird. You know, it's hard to make 100% appealing things in Minecraft. It's not, you know, hardly made for that. I ought to extend that out. That kind of looks weird not being extended out like that. Let's grab some bamboo and do that. Oh yeah, that looks better. Looking good. Looking good. Throw that back in the in the pile. Yeah, that's why I was looking down so you wouldn't see that. I've not actually seen what it looks like from a distance yet. Wee! Hello, squid. Let's go to the other little island over here and see what it looks like from a distance. The sea turtles are still there, having a ball, a blast. Oh yeah, that looks pretty cool. Bridge looks good too. 
I wonder if I should maybe have like supports coming down for the bridge. Hang it away from me. Might look better with some supports. Gotta swim out here in the water, see if we can get a thing. I might make a little like a pier or something in the water. Like right here, a little kind of a dock coming off. I mean, I got that up there. I don't know. I mean, I think it looks fine without having any kind of support or anything. Although those are not the same length. I need to like get rid of those. So that they're all kind of the same. Um, so that it's equal going across, you know. Which I tried, I mean, on top as you're walking across them. I tried my best to get them as equal as I could. Which, you know, I ain't no professional daggum builder. So I just did my best. My melon farm has been producing off the hook. I was sitting there, collected the melon, turned around, and it unspawned a whole nother row of melon. I mean, look at that. And then we got nice chests here. Somewhere. Melons. Right there. Look at that. Mmm. Got two, three, and three quarter stacks. <laughs> We got sugar cane to be put in here. I can make a barrel. What the barrel do? Undo it? Need a bunch of nautilus shells and heart of the sea. What the heck is a heart of the sea? What does a conduit do? Spyglass? Copper ingots and an amethyst shard. I can make that right now. Let's make a spyglass. I need two copper ingots and an amethyst shard, which I leave. Uh, copper and I think my amethyst shards are up here in the random no 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 they're actually up there I kept one chest up here and because I didn't know what to do with it yeah amethyst shard and we go down here to the crafting table a spyglass Me eyeballs just zoomed in. Whoa, man, that's crazy. I mean, it doesn't go past my view distance. But... Wow, what's the purpose of this? Maybe like if I've seen. Okay, this is crazy. I mean, I don't really know what the purpose of it is. One thing I can think of is if you um maybe use that like you seen that and you're like, is there iron or something there? Is it worth going over? There? Oh no, there's no iron there. This is not worth going over there. You know, something like that maybe. Or if you wanted to make a, a lookout and then be able to zoom way off. Or I guess on uh, multiplayer servers, uh, where you got like factions and stuff, it would probably be good for that. If you've seen a enemy or a base or something, you could, you know, look at him from afar and be like, I don't think I want to attack them. <laughs> They look a little bit too tough for me. That's going to be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and all that good stuff down yonder. We will see you in the next one. Peace.